Hello, and especially greetings to you, the young people who have come to Luanda for the Biennale. I'm pleased for this opportunity to speak with you about the Culture of Peace and its news service, the Culture of Peace News Network, both being the culmination of a long process beginning over 30 years ago. 1989. It was an important year in two regards. First, the Cold War between East and West came to an end with the collapse of the Soviet Empire, and there was a chance for the first time in many years to establish peace in the world. And second, the International Congress for Peace in the Minds of Men was held in Yamasukro, Cote d'Ivoire, and it called upon UNESCO to promote a culture of peace. In concluding the Congress, UNESCO Director General Federico Mayor said, from the heart of Africa in Yamasukro, there rises today a song of hope, that understanding and agreement tirelessly sought will take the place of violence, hate, and rancor. By 1999, in the year 2000, the United States General Assembly in New York decided that the year 2000 should be the international year for the culture of peace. With the help of Pierre Marchand and a group of Nobel Peace Laureates, we developed the Manifesto 2000, in which individuals should promise to work for a culture of peace in their communities. The Manifesto was signed in the year 2000 by 75 million people. That's 1% of the population of the entire planet. As part of the International Year, the UN General Assembly asked us at UNESCO to draft a declaration and program of action on a culture of peace. This was not a simple task because humanity has never really known a culture of peace. Since the beginning of history, we have always lived in a culture of war. And for this reason, we started our work by analyzing the culture of war. We said it consists of armaments, authoritarian governance, exploitation of peoples, exploitation of nature, enemy images, after all, you can't have a war without an enemy, control of information, education for obedience and violence, and male domination. Thus, a culture of peace, we reasoned, must be the opposite. In other words, disarmament, democratic participation, respect for all human rights, sustainable development, tolerance and solidarity, free flow of information, education for peace, and equality of women with men. The General Assembly accepted this definition in the resolution and in addition, they called for a global movement for a culture of peace with exchange of information. 2001. In order to provide this exchange of information on the global movement, we established the Culture of Peace News Network, known as CPNN. And it, consists, it continues to this day to provide update news up-to-date news about activities and media events promoting one or more of the eight domains of the culture of peace. Now, 2021, the mobilization around the Luanda Biennale makes me think that the time has come for, for it to be possible to have regional CPNN sites. And let's begin with CPNN Africa. As indicated by the many CPNN articles from, the, from Africa in recent years, the, culture of, the movement for a culture of peace is advancing well in your continent. Also, the involvement of youth is especially important because the new generation is more experienced with the tools and the potential of the internet, and you are not so involved with the culture of war as previous generations. Therefore, I invite the 150 youth taking part in the Biennale, along with 
your friends and colleagues to work with me in the creation of CPNN Africa. There are tasks for everyone. We need reporters, translators, computer technicians, and activists in general. There is a job for everybody. Yeah, I imagine that a CPNN Africa would be a giant step forward in the global movement for a culture of peace. It could provide the inspiration for similar initiatives in other regions of the world. And it could make an important contribution to a pan-African culture of peace, which would be an even greater inspiration for the coming generations. Thank you for your attention, and I hope to be working with you.